Hey guys, it's Agustin Turner again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the Oculus Quest development videos. We're going to look at how we can use the OVR gaze component to actually point to a UI and also interact with a UI component in virtual reality. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you this scene, which uses a lot of the functionality that Oculus provides for handling interactions with the UI. So this is one of the scene that Oculus provided as an example. And basically, it's composed of multiple items. So we have an OVR player controller, which is one of the controllers that I show you how to use in previous videos. We also have a directional light. We also have the environment, which is this box that you see right here. And then instead of the environment, we have a room that has basically different walls and so on. I also have a canvas, which is the canvas that you see right here. And it's set up by using world space, which means uh, it's, not, it's not basically 2D. It's actually in, in world space. So you can move it around. You can rotate it if you like to. So the other thing that this also has that is really important to know is that we're using what's called an OVR gaze pointer. And the OVR gaze pointer is a component that Oculus provides that allows you to basically capture the position of the center eye anchor and basically position what they call a gaze icon. So if we look at the gaze icon, you can see that it's basically just like a 2D texture that has transparency and a texture on, which is what you see right here as a pointer. And basically what happens is that as we're rotating our head, that gaze is ray casting against the canvas and therefore telling us the position of the gaze and allow us to actual control the UI. So this is very important, important to know is the OVR gaze pointer is what's going to control that piece. You can basically hide it by default. You can tell it to, you know, what the timeout period is, when it's going to show, when it's going to hide, if we want to deem it on high request the depth scale multiplier and some of these settings i'm going to be honest i haven't touched yet all i've done is basically added an ovr gaze pointer to some of the experience that i have done it also has you have to specify the ray transform and the ray transform is going to be the the object that is on the ovr camera rig and it's going to be the center eye anchor so because that's going to be the one that is controlling so if you're moving your head it's going to be the center position of your head and then as you're looking around, that's going to be used as an indicator where, of where to position the gaze. So if we go down here, this is basically everything that you need to control. You need to specify on that component. The other thing that is really important in this, in this actual scene is the OVR input module. So this is an input module that Oculus provides for you to override some of the input interactions that we have to do against the event system. So when you add this component, you're going to have a couple of things that we need to we need to tell the system. So we need to tell it what the ray transform is, which is going to be the same object that I have here, what the cursor is going to be for the pointer. So that's going to be the, the script that is associated with the OVR gaze pointer. Also, what the click button is going to be. So this is mapped to the button one. Also, what the gaze click key is going to be, which is going to be space. And then most of these components, I basically just le left by default. So to be honest, if you're if you're doing and using some of these things, I really don't really see us changing much other than adding this OVR input module and then looking at some of the implementation and the structure of this and then implementing that in your own experience. So if I were you and I were and I was in, uh, basically implementing something like this, I would add the OVR player controller that I have that we have as a prefab and we can search through a hierarchy because that's part of the Oculus package. Then the other thing is once you have the Oculus package, once you added that prefab, the other piece is just basically adding this component to the event system and then associating the different components that I just described. Also make sure that you add this OVR gaze pointer as well, which is just going to be an object with the script associated and then make sure that you follow the same, you know, the, the same settings that I have right here. The, the other thing that is also important is going to be the light canvas. And the light canvas is basically where we're going to be telling the system to, to be controlling. So a couple of things to keep in mind is that you're going to need an OVR raycaster because when we're using the event system in conjun conjunction with the OVR gaze pointer, it's going to need to raycast 
a raycast to know if we're colliding with a canvas. So this is going to need a canvas because it is a canvas. And then you need to tell it which the event camera is going to be. So it's currently set to the left eye anchor. And I basically left it like that and it worked. Then the other thing that I also that we're also going to need is the OVR raycaster that I just show you. And then it looks like some of the properties that are set right now is the ignore reverse graph is set is check blocking objects we have it set to all blocking mass is set to everything and then we don't have sort sorting order because there's no layers on these on these canvas and then everything else is just a mask and then an image and this is more for the look and feel but for the most part all you're going to need is the canvas the event camera object that is that is set and then the ovr raycaster so those are the three components that i would look for so the next thing that I want to show you is how I run these and how it looks when I run it on the device. So let me go ahead and pull that up. There we go. So we see the Unity logo. And this is the OVR camera uh, doing its job. I'm looking around. Also the UI piece. And as I'm, as I'm looking through the canvas, you can see that I'm moving. So I'm holding the A button on the controller as the gaze is getting over the UI component. So I can hold it and then basically change the slider. And then as long as it's over the UI component, then I can control it. And you can see that I can also do that, you know, look around and also do that with the size and also with the checkbox. So everything here should work. I'm going to be doing experiences where I can use this on my own UI. So just stay tuned because I'm going to be using this for the VR draw experience that I'm creating. Thank you guys. Alright guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you on Oculus Quest development, let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.